guy on a buffalo. It's a typical, clear, beautiful, sunny day in Southern California at Camarillo Airport. Today, I've got Catalina on my mind. I'll meet up with a new friend, Steven, and we'll make the trek to Catalina Island to see buffalo, get some buffalo burgers and fries, explore the island a little bit, and its beautiful waters, especially from the air, we're able to see quite a bit, and much more along the way. So come along. What's going on? What up, man? This is your ship, huh? <laughs> this is it, dude. Your time machine. It's the slowest airplane you've ever flown in. Yeah, double the flight time you thought. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty like much. Two knot headwind and it just changes everything. <laughs> Sweet. This is it, 1966. Wow. We're gonna go do barrel rolls on our way to... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in Camarillo, California. I randomly met Steven on Instagram because I was parked here at Waypoint Restaurant and his instructor said, hey, Chris is in town, you should go to Catalina Island with him. So here he is, first time we've met and we're going to Catalina Island. I don't know if this is smart or not. It's smart. We'll, uh, we'll see. He it's says worth, it's cool. It's worth the lunch you're gonna have. Before shoving off, we did a brief together and some flight planning with Four Flight. It's like 59 miles from here, same distance from where I'm at in Carlsbad. Um, we can scoot right around this Bravo. Don't have to talk to anybody. Well, let's load up and go. Okay. Clear! Everyone at the restaurant knows that we were starting. Awesome. Did you see that guy? Yeah. Like it got his attention. Amazing. Yeah. Camera ground, so that's the 4781 X-ray over at the restaurant. Taxi with information. Pop up. Pop up. 4781 X-ray cam, Mario ground, runway 26 taxi via Golf 2, Golf Alpha. You're going to be following TBM traffic out of AVEX for Golf 2 as well. 2 Golf, uh, 2 Golf Alpha, and we're following that traffic. A1 X-ray. What do you think? Pretty sweet. <laughs> I paid $24,000. That's awesome, man. <laughs> that's so cool. I know. So when did you get into aviation? When I was like 18. Nice. So I think, gosh, how many years now? 16 or something? That's good, dude. Everyone I meet's like, I was eight years old. Camarillo like, Ground, like, Cherokee nah. 6372. I was Yeah, there are lots of latecomers. So I did my commercial here and flew an arrow, and this is where I'd start up, like it was parked right behind that. Oh, no way. C-47, that's pretty sweet. In fact, I don't think that's a C-47, I think it's like a commando. Good old Camarillo Airport, waiting for a uh, Ten million dollar jet, a two million dollar turboprop, and here we are in a 150. And there's a Blackhawk, and yeah, it's just whatever. That guy's fuel for that jet was as much as my plane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. Camera on tower, Cessna 4781 X-ray holding short, Alpha 26. Cessna 4781 X-ray camera tower, Koshwake turbulence for the departed Gulfstream left down approved runway 26 cleared for takeoff. 26 cleared for takeoff, anyone X-ray. Helicopter Niner Kilo Papa Seeger altitude. Wake turbulence. Yeah, right. Full ridge, carp it out. But they filmed a the movie like in the 20s or 30s. And has they just left the buffalo there. Interesting. Then they started breeding and stuff. Yeah. They're probably not that smart at buffalo because. A1 X-ray frequency change of proof. a lot of inbreeding. Change proof A1 X-ray. 
Thank you. I got your back. We got around this airspace here. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Oh boy, that's Catalina. Okay. Wait. I think so. That's all you got for a fight. <laughs> Just as we were distracted and talking, this happened. Whoa. That AWAC, man. Goes to show you really need to be on your toes. As pilots, we're supposed to look for that traffic constantly, kind of assuming that someone is out there trying to hit us, which is one of the reasons it's important to avoid distractions and be eyes outside the plane. That was amazing. They saw us. Yeah, thank God. Was that even on there? Were they no, on there? No. Dude, I have an A-10 too. Is that an A-10 on yours? Yeah. That's what I did too. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're brothers. We didn't even know it. <laughs> did we just become best friends? <laughs> well, at least they used their radar for something. Yeah. That big old disc. The sea is coming. That would be a quick way to go. So, I like going at 2.5, but some people like want to be super safe and go higher. You have a 2.5? Yeah. A little higher would be better okay, for me. Cool. We'll go 4.5. Yeah. Please get us back to land a little bit. Yeah. Or just find a boat to circle around for a while. True. For this flight, we'd be going across a large area of water, as you can see here on four flight, where we'd be between 15 or 20 miles offshore. From this direction, you'd have to climb real high to be able to glide to land. So. Uh, in a position like this, we obviously had life jackets in the back. We were ready to use them if we needed them. If we had an issue, we would we would plan to declare an emergency, obviously, and get all the help we could. Maybe even aim for someone that's out there on a boat, just to increase our chances. So it's certainly not without risk. I just don't go over the water in Alaska. I mean, when I do, it's all within gliding distance. Right. And even then I have life preservers, but yeah, I'm like, because if you go down in the water there, you're a toast. Like you can survive for maybe 30 minutes? Yeah, that, yeah. If you survive the shock of the cold initially. Ugh. But he, I mean, here you would still even struggle here, obviously. But you're so close to population and a bunch of Coast Guard stations that it'd be a different story. I mean, yeah, there's someone in the air, in like, the area. all the time. So you'd have a chance. Quick little trip, actually. Not bad. Dude, it's not. Because we're halfway there, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, this is Steven. He saw, actually, his instructor saw his airplane in my story the other day at Waypoint Cafe in Camarillo. And one thing led to another, and we are committing aviation together now. <laughs> uh, Steven's time building to become a commercial pilot. I don't know what he wants to do after that. We're just getting to know each other. We literally met each other like... An hour ago. Yeah. And Catalina Island's up ahead. That's where we're going. It's supposed to be a really cool spot. Uh, I think probably one of the best well-known spots around around the LA, San Diego area for people to go to. Uh, that's where we're headed. Enjoy. So is the, is the runway pretty uphill? It is. So do you do you often pick to go downhill instead of uphill for your they, takeoff? They uh, you go uphill. Actually, it's not uphill enough to where you're not able to take off. Like yeah. for, for us, it's not an issue. Okay. We don't weigh anything. The lift on this is incredible. But a bigger plane, like a super heavy, you know, King Air or something. I I used to see him taking off from the opposite runway sometimes. Yeah. Because you got uh, 04 and you got 2 2. We're usually 2 2 is the. Usually what the wind is yeah. favoring. Right. Seems that like that's what it's been doing. I'm all about being safe, especially because I have a family. <laughs> Me too, man. I mean, even even like flying over water like this is a little. It's risky. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got our life preservers and it's warmer water. Oh, yeah. So I'm okay with that. Like a month ago. There's a dude kayaking out here with his buddy. And his kayak started shaking like crazy. He's like, what the hell? And he looked behind him. That was his friend hit his kayak. It was like a 19 foot great white shark chomping on the back of his kayak. What? So he started like hitting it. And the great white shark left three of its teeth like 
impaled in the kayak. What in the heck, man? He's in a picture holding it. It's The teeth are bigger than a $1 bill. Oh my gosh. Sideways. But. Okay, so even if we survive, <laughs> survive the ditching, we'd yeah. be screwed anyway. I got a shark repellent. <laughs> oh, <that was> <laughs> Alien traffic, Cessna 471 x ray, 12 miles to the north, east, and down for 2 2. Can you do uh, just like a 30 degree turn to the left? Yeah. Just real quick so I can get the island in the shot with the nose. Oh, yeah, duh. Other left. Yeah. yeah. That's a great shot, yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Wow. Whoa, hello. Dude, that's rad. <laughs> Bentley traffic, Cessna 471 X-ray, five miles to the north, inbound for right traffic, 2-2. Two -two. Headphones are nice, man, they're light. Yeah, they're real nice. Um, I don't think I taught you how to turn the A&R on. Did you turn the fob thing on? No. Yeah, turn it on. You're not even getting noise counseling right now because I'm a jerk. What the hell? <laughs> you kidding me? I don't know how you're getting back, dude. You had two pairs of gloves this entire time? Yeah. We're in the Rockies. What movie was that? Oh, God, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, Dumb Dumber. Yes. Oh, my God, it's weird. I can't even hear my airplane. I know. Catalina traffic, 478 X-ray, and uh, right down, 122, Catalina traffic. Wow, man, that water's so cool. I haven't seen that water in Alaska, though, because we do get that color. Oh, nice. Like, run off from the... Uh -huh. right. Okay, I'll shut up now. Even though we were having a good time and I wanted to make a few jokes, it was time to go sterile cockpit. Now, sterile cockpit means that I let the pilot flying do their job and I don't interrupt with unnecessary chatter. It's sterile. It's clean. Nothing is going on except being able to focus on the task at hand. Catalina traffic. Force of an X-ray turning base. 2-2. Two -two. Catalina traffic. Uh, two Coming up the back side of the island, right turn out back towards the traffic. Go fly the time for this puppy. Bell carpet in. Let's stay high because we get unexpected downdrafts. Catalina traffic, 471 X-ray on final. 2 2, Catalina traffic. I'll do a little slip if you don't mind. Go ahead. There we go, I like that. Birds! Feel that? Yep, I'll okay. a little crossy wind. Got it, you got it, you got it. There you go. <laughs> Dude, that wind. Yep, I saw that wind sock. Woo! Don't worry, that's gonna be all over YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> you better turn comments off. <laughs> Kelly and Traffic 478 with X-ray clear 2-2. Two, two. Kelly and Traffic. That was the worst landing I've ever had in my <laughs> life. Yeah, I caught you, man. I saw it coming. That's so crazy. You can see LA out there. I know. Beautiful. That's wild. Great. I got a photographer. I didn't even know. Uh, just landed. Tricky landing. But he got it. We're safe. Yeah. Everything's safe. The airplane's in one piece. We're going to be able to go back. So Catalina Island. Uh, first impressions, it's pretty amazing. I can see LA in the distance back here. That's pretty wild. Uh, beautiful palm trees, sunshine. I'm not complaining. This Alaskan's not complaining. How many times do you think you've been here? Probably eight. Eight times. In the last month. The last month? Yep. Really? Well, wait. Ever. February. How? Well, like, like, just to the island to hang out? Yeah, ever. Oh. I think five other times on a boat. Dang. So it doesn't suck. I mean, uh, the food's gonna be good too, I know that. Buffalo kind of became an instant obsession as actual buffalo live in the wild on Catalina Island. Brought here many years ago, I think part of a movie. Now they just do their thing. Oh, and there's buffalo burgers, which are delicious, by the way. Really, really good. We got the blue buffalo burger, so blue cheese. And not to mention, but I had to introduce Steven to Guy on a Buffalo to make the entire experience complete.
You know, it's just really cool what aviation can do. It brings a couple dudes together. They set out on a mini adventure. Uh, you know, we grab a bite to eat in this case. We see a new and exciting area, at least new for me. I'm sure still exciting for Steven. Catalina Island is a real treasure just right outside of LA. It's a world apart, but just a short flight away. Sure, you could probably take a boat. I'm sure you can. Plenty of people come out here by boat, but that'd be an entire day affair. It's places like this I personally appreciate a lot with the pristine outdoors, an airport plopped right in the middle, and just some overall quality vibes. Believe it or not, there are places just like this in your backyard, some quality, interesting experiences that you can go see via airplane. So I really encourage you to do that. Keep looking and keep exploring. Do you have a TV in Alaska? <laughs> yes, I have a TV. All right, I wasn't sure. <laughs> do you have TV? <laughs> I mean, you live in an igloo. I wasn't sure if you had cables that ran through. <laughs> Come on. I'm not that primitive. Okay, I was How do you sure. think I upload all my YouTube videos, man? I know, that's pretty <laughs> I, but I met, granted, I met people who were like, they live out in the middle of nowhere because they want to be like, away from that kind of stuff. No, I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that a buffalo calf or just a regular cow calf? Yeah. We are done at the Catalina Airport. We are going to jump in. 4781 X ray. I got it right. And head back to Camarillo. Beautiful airport. Perfect day. 77 degrees last time I looked. And ah, what do you think? Still cool on your 10th time? It's pretty awesome. Doesn't get old. Especially because I nailed that landing. Yeah, that totally nailed it. Perfect. Huh? Yeah, man. Well, it gets people's attention. That's what the whole point is. Catalina traffic, 4781 X-ray. Uh, taxiing down to 22. Catalina traffic. I can't get over this noise cancelers. It's pretty wild, right? Yeah. That cool air going up the sleeve of my shirt is like... <laughs> it's nice. It's so beautiful. I know. Catalina traffic, 4781 X-ray. Runway 22. We're going to do a left down with departure. Catalina traffic. Speed's alive, engine's green, a little bit of a right crosswind. Really? It'll take off at 50? No, I said that, that was up a little. There she is. Boom. Gosh, man, this feels weird. It's so slow. <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, it's a Cessna, that's too slow to take off. No. And then the whistling sound doesn't help either. <laughs> and now we're gonna drop. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh no, we lifted, man, that's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, because the... Right. You mind if I fly a little bit? Go ahead. Sweet, my controls. Here you go. My controls. Just tell me where to go, what to do. All right, um... I'm gonna come out to the right a little bit. Okay. And then I want you to go downwind. Okay. Cross that airport. Oh, okay. So we're gonna keep climbing and cross the airport. Yeah. Okay. And then I want we're gonna hit the south side of the island. I want to get your view on your side. Sweet. We're gonna drop down after the airport, or what do you think? I'd love to. Okay. That's why we got life jackets. Yeah, we'll be fine if we're within the shoreline. Yeah. We might have to fight off a shark, but we're good. Catalina traffic, uh, Cessna 150, 4781 X-ray, we're crossing midfield from the right downwind, uh, runway 22, southbound. Nice. I made a radio call, yay! Yeah, good job. Man, that, that apartment complex right there is actually really cool. I know. Or whatever that is, that resort. I know. Dude, what the perfect setting, look at that golf course. You know, you can never really truly replicate it with video. Right. Just can't. That's pretty amazing. Okay, first person to see a buffalo uh, is owed 10 bucks. <laughs> All right, deal. 
they really still have them here? Yeah, there's like a there's like a ton. Buffalo. No. That's gotta be. Where? Can I do a lap over? Yes. Uh, where? Right off, my t right off my wing. Are you orbiting it? Yeah, I'm gonna orbit it right now. Shoot, where? I don't see it. Right down, like your uh, one o'clock down there. Oh. That was Buffalo? Okay, keep going. You, you can uh, circle here, okay? Okay, cool. Oh, man. Owe me 10 bucks. I totally owe you 10 bucks. I'll Venmo you. Are those Buffalo? I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. possible. Those are Buffalo. It's possible. I'll get a good look out this side, and I'll lie. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, they're totally buffalo. Shoot. <laughs> you can't mistake in the silhouette of a buffalo. I know. Yep, there they are. There's the buffalo. Oh, man. <laughs> I had to joke around. <laughs> now the last $10 to my name. Yeah. That is so cool, though. Look at all of them. That's a, he that's a pretty decent herd. The herd, yeah. What a beautiful island. Holy cow. I mean, these beaches, I mean, you would be alone. Did it live up to your expectations? Yeah, I think better. I was I was pretty shocked by the color of the water. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Bye, Catalina. <laughs> Still got about 20 more minutes <laughs> before, we, before we leave the island. Oh, my gosh. Remember, we're at 150. Jeez. This thing is like, this is a like perfect search and rescue. Because, <laughs> oh, my God, you go so slow. Beautiful flight there around Catalina Island. Just beautiful water and mountains and seeing the buffalo. Definitely a good cherry on top for our trip there. And so now we would climb and head out back toward Camarillo. Not much more or different to share along the way there, but Steven and I just got to know each other a little bit better, talked more and more about our lives and flying, etc. Um, and you know, our, our trip back was a little slower because of the headwind. So just had a good time flying back to Camarillo. Watch I landed it? Yeah, dude, I'll do it if you're okay. Of course. Okay. If my landing, if, if you can't feel my landing, I don't owe you for the Buffalo. <laughs> but if you can, then, which will probably happen, then I owe you for the Buffalo. How okay. about that? Okay. All right. See ya. Okay. I'll get us, uh, close to like downwind or base and I'll hand you controls. I okay. Guess. Sounds good. That way. Cause I gotta navigate around this little point magoo. Well, I could I could navigate too, just fine. I know where their airspace is. Okay. So, yeah, they're just right there. Here, go ahead. So we need to go to the right and then around. Yeah, I can do it. All right, cool. You're. I did my commercial license here, man. That's awesome. Know the area. That's awesome. That way I can get in the zone a little bit better before we get there. Okay. That's what are your typical speeds you do for landing? Like 80, 70, 60. Like, uh, so, you know, knots on the inner. I'll usually, like, I'm coming under 60 miles per hour for final. For final. I just keep my nose down, obviously. And, right. And, like, the best way to describe it is, I'm sure you know, you just feel it. Yep. You know? I can hang on to your gear if you want me to. Yeah, sweet. You can even record a little whenever you want. Yep. Awesome. Buffalo. Guy on a buffalo. Ate some buffalo. <laughs> Camarillo Tower, uh, Cessna 150, 41, 4781 X ray. Currently about over CSU landing, Camarillo. Cessna 4718 X ray, Camarillo Tower, Roger. Inner a three mile left face 26. Three mile left face 26. 4781 X ray. He didn't even ask for Tango, or did you say it? Yeah, no, I didn't say it. He probably heard me stumble. He's like, I don't want to deal with this guy at all. <laughs> He's this like, dude, let's, just come in. Let's just get him down, guys. Yeah, yeah get him down. <laughs> Isn't the pattern like 1100 or hey, something? Yeah. Yeah. This is 81 X ray, number two, follow Bonanza, one and a half mile right base from runway 26, cleared to land. Number two behind Bonanza, 4781 X ray. Can I do first notch in the white? Just gonna yeah, hold you one down. Confirm you're entering a three mile left yeah, base. And that's him. A little bit more. Yeah. Eight one X-ray. We're on the the left base now. We're looking for that bonanza. Just gonna eight one X-ray. There to your. Uh, they're about half mile final. Right. Just gonna eight one X-ray. That is not a three mile left base. That is a one and a half mile left base. By the way. Uh, eight one X-ray. Roger. So 
I misunderstood his instruction. I thought he wanted me uh, to be on a three mile base. But you want to be three mile final yeah. from that base. A little bit of a crossy cross, not much. <laughs> I felt it. Helicopter 444, Delta. Yeah, you felt it. I owe you for the buffalo. <laughs> All right, this will work here. Beautiful. Try not to run over the chain. Come back in. Guy on a buffalo. Okay, we're back in Camarillo, and Stephen was nice enough to let me do the landing. So the deal was, you probably heard that if I landed smoothly, then I didn't owe him for the buffalo, but I didn't land that smoothly, so I still owe him for the buffalo, but I don't have $10. So it's an IOU, which means you have to come back and we have to fly again. Yeah. Or just give me a Bose headset. Or just give you a Bose <laughs> headset, okay. That, yeah, fair trade, fair trade. Bose for a buffalo. It's gonna be the title of this video. All right, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video. Jump in on the comments, be part of the community, and I'll see you guys next time. Steven, thank you. Absolutely. My next audience time. thanks you too. You can't hear them, they're from afar. <laughs> we'll do it again. All right, see you later, guys. Throttle on. <laughs> I give that a 10 out of 10. Volume, a little bit of cracking, kind of scary, definitely good. <laughs>